That didn't work out. Alright guys, this is Matt Hall with SimpleCopter.com. Got the uh, new Tricopter 2.0. Finally got it put together. It's been a real busy week. And uh, gonna fly it for you a little bit here. Got a little different location this time. Uh, found a nice little place uh, down the street from me that yeah, seems to uh, look good. Of course, I did pick a bad time to have to use the bathroom, but that's the way it goes. This fly is very similar to the simple tricopter. All the electronics are inside of it. And uh, so it's a little bit cleaner. And uh, it's got more room on the, uh, the deck for a uh, camera or whatever else you want to put on it. I'm going to go through that damn waterfall. I can feel it. So uh, it flies as good as all the rest of them do and it'll kick some butt too. Let's do a quick pass here. Almost lost it there. I've only got the uh, this one set of props, so if I break it, then I gotta go home. Oops. And it sounds like my battery's starting to go dead too, but. Uh, it flies great. I mean, can't complain at all. And down. So, a uh, good point here is that we've got these props from Hobby King. They are uh, these yellow, I mean, yellow and red. These things are flexible as hell. They uh, take a hell of a beating, as you just saw, and don't seem to break like uh, the GWS props I used to use uh, exclusively. And uh, even the Got Heli props don't hold up like these do. So, uh, um, really like them they're the two dollar and fifty nine cent um props again i just hit myself trying to be funny let's try that again i think arming it while you're holding is a bad idea when you want to throw it And it's starting to rain. Again, prop tests there. These things are incredibly uh, durable. Put the battery back on. And fly again, boys and girls.
Look at that. <laughs> All right, uh, for uh, Father's Day, my wife said I could have whatever I wanted, and so I told her I wanted a V-tail, and uh, try out, see if I like it, so she gave me permission to go ahead and go through my scraps of my, uh, actually the trash cans where I got this from, but either way, I used the T-copter body and made an aluminum uh, V. So I'm going to power this up and fly a little bit for you. It's something I'm thinking about maybe building and selling. Uh, this is definitely just a, uh, a proof of concept copter. It's definitely not something I'd be selling like this, obviously. Even even I'm not that bad off. But uh, i got to switch real quick. Hold on. And you can see which way it's going too, because if it's uh it's coming this way, yeah, you know it's kind of backwards, so. I tell you, the yaw is fantastic on this. Uh, I've flown quadcopters before and I can't stand them uh, because of the lack of the of the yaw. And uh, the yaw is so vague usually. Now, Warthogs, he makes the yaw look friggin' incredible. So, uh, you know, besides him, I haven't seen a lot of people who can really do yaw maneuvers that were, uh, you know, really fantastic. So, um, makes a lot of noise too. I like it. I don't like it better than a T-copter or a tricopter, but uh, best sport motor I've ever flown. I got the scale sticks down a little bit in this one. It can go faster, but I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> so that's it um, it's pretty cool I'm going to try to design up a body that works a little bit better the V-tail makes it stronger and uh, and we'll go from there guys Alright guys, this is the, uh, the routing here. You have the speed controls in the front, back, your uh, uh, receiver, board, wiring. This wiring's going to kind of be tucked in a little bit here. When we put the top on here, it'll kind of smash it all in there. Just make sure everything is kind of down, out of the way as much as it can. It's not going to be perfect, but um, it makes a nice clean finish when you're done. So that's basically how I do it. And then run your power cable right here and uh, hook up whatever connector you normally use. So that's how we do that. <laughs> 